My name's Tessa. Hi, I'm George. We are fifth year medical students at the University of Otago in Wellington. We looked at a whole range of beverages, 59 in fact, and it was a mix of locally and imported beers, New Zealand wines and RTDs. Typically in society we're used to things that are harmful having warnings on them. We do it with cigarettes now, we do it with cleaning products, we do it with dangerous recreational activities, so why not do it with alcohol? What we found was that across the range there was quite deficient warning labelling, with only 19% of beverages having drink driving warnings. Certainly one of our biggest findings is that our warnings were small and they were also hard to find on the bottle. So in fact, the average size of the picture warnings was about the same size as that of a green pea. And the text size of the warnings themselves were about a four to six font size. So 20% of the bottles lacked any information about drinking during pregnancy and over 80% lacked any information about drink driving related harms. The alcohol containers that did have the pregnancy warnings were more likely to be products marketed towards men and the same was true for drink driving but the opposite. I'll show you an example of the smoking warnings we currently have. They're huge and they're relatively hard to miss. When we compare that to what we've got in our alcohol bottles, it's significantly smaller. You can see here, you really have to go looking for it to find the pregnancy and drink driving warnings. What the public know about the harms of alcohol is disparate from what we as scientists know about the effects on people's health. This intervention is about everyone being aware that alcohol is potentially harmful. What we're hoping is that moving forward labels will be mandatory and standardised across alcoholic beverages sold in New Zealand and that they'll comply with what we know makes a good warning label and makes it effective. Making them mandatory will avoid the inconsistencies we found in our sample and making them standardised will avoid attempts to obscure the warnings and hide them amongst promotional elements.